Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah. Let's start with supplications or du'as at the time of sleeping. When going to sleep, lay on your right side and keep your right palm below your right cheek and supplicate the following. Allahumma bismika amutu wa ahya. What's the meaning of that? O oh Allah, in your name I die and I live. Allahumma means, O oh Allah. You know that. Allahumma, O oh Allah. Bismika. Bismika has three parts. B is in. Ism is name. Ka, your. Bismika, in your name. Allahumma bismika, O oh Allah, in your name. Amutu. Amutu means I die. It is from mouth. Mouth means death. Amutu, I die. Wa ahya and I live. What means and? Okay, don't mix that. Ahya means I live. Don't mix the two words. I mean, they are separate words. In your mind, you have to have them separate. Wa ahya and I live. What's the message here? Sleep is like death. When we are asleep, we don't know if we exist or if there is anything called world. All our tasks should begin in the name of Allah. When we sleep in the name of Allah, our sleep is blessed and we overcome fatigue and laziness through the sleep. We wake up refreshed and our mind is relaxed after a restful sleep. Most importantly, Allah safeguards us, protects us during our sleep. This prayer reminds us of our life's mission. We can say, O oh Allah, my entire life until my death should be spent in your love, in your worship and in your obedience only because I am living in your name. Allahumma bismika amutu wa ahya. And when I wake up in the morning, I will work on those things which will please you. Sleep is a gift and a blessing from Allah. Waking up from it, opening eyes in the morning, waking up in time is also a reward from Allah. After waking up, recite the following supplication which is let's take piece by piece alhamdulillah alladhi ahyana alhamdu all praise and thanks okay lillah are for allah alladhi the one who ahyana made up of two words ahya means gave life he gave life and to us ahyana he gave life to us Ba'dama amatana. Ba'dama amat after he caused us to die. Wa ilayhi nushur and to him is the return. Let's take word for word. Ba'da means after. Ba'da means after. Ma Ba'dama together are translated as after. Or after that. Amatana. Amatana is made from two words. Mata means he died. Amata he caused us to die. Or he gave deaths. Na to us. Amatana, he gave death to us or he caused us to die because sleep is like death. Wa ilayhi, what is and? Ilayhi, to him, towards him, to him. An nushur, nushur is return. Some people die in their sleep. Therefore, every new day is a gift from Allah. After waking up from full night sleep, we should first thank Allah that he gifted us one more day so that we may lead our life as per his will and be successful. Allah made such a system that during sleep our brain keeps working and we turn our sides automatically. As a result, when we wake up, we are sound and healthy. No part of our body is paralyzed. The secret of a healthy, successful, peaceful and pleasant life is that our morning begins with the remembrance of Allah. We say, Alhamdulillah. The peace and tranquility lies in the remembrance of Allah only. Our heart should be filled up with joy and feeling of thanks to Allah when we wake up. When we start our morning with this state, the whole day will be successful inshallah. Wa ilayhin nushur. After getting up from the bed, we get engaged in our routine works, but a day will come when every soul is resurrected from its grave and will, will return to meet Allah. We can also say 
these words wa ilayhin nushur with uh, shawq with passion to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because in a hadith the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said whoever loves to meet Allah, Allah loves to meet him. We say, O oh Allah, grant us tawfiq to do good deeds so that we wake up on that day to be granted the ultimate success by your mercy. Please visit understandquran.com for our courses on read Al-Quran, learn Tajweed and understand Al-Quran and for one-to-one -one learning. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum.